Well, when you're having a baby, doctors almost always recommend prenatal vitamins and rich in folic acid. But now a new study is linking folic acid to autism. But how credible is that study? Eight on your side is answers from an expert today. Joining me now is Dr. Jill. We appreciate you being here. We love having you every week. Thank you. Okay, let's start with why folic acid is usually recommended in pregnancy to begin with. To prevent birth defects. So serious birth serious defects. Serious birth defects, something called neural tube defects, which okay. are uh, breakdowns in the baby's spine, head, or spinal column. And they're significant, like spina bifida. Oh, goodness. So folic yes. acid can prevent that? Folic acid can prevent it and has prevented it for many, many years. What did the study show in terms of autism? Okay, so this study was a small study, came out from a press release from Johns Hopkins, and basically said they looked at 1,400 women, and they looked at levels of folate, which is folic acid, in their bodies after delivery, and said women who had high levels of this, like four times normal, how to double the risk of your child having autism. And so this study is very small. There was a lot of flaws that we're going to talk about. But, you know, whenever you mention autism, people really want answers. So it scares them when information like this comes out. And I'm guessing you as a doctor, the one thing you don't want is for women not to take folic acid. Absolutely. I mean, this study they brought this out way too early okay so the results that they found are premature we need more studies this was a small sample size there is it really not taking this cause this there's a lot of conflict there it hasn't even gone to peer review or been published in a magazine yet so it was way premature and it scared the public so my bottom line your take-home message take your prenatal vitamins it is very important because we have made an impact decreasing the risk of neural tube defects. And a lot of times you and I talk about risk versus reward. The risk of autism versus the reward of the folic acid. Big there, difference, right? There, there is no question in my mind right now that you should take your folic acid in your prenatal vitamin. It's standard in your prenatal vitamins. So you don't have to take extra anything. What you need it, is right there. What you need is in your prenatal vitamin. But what it does say to me as a physician is, wow, there could be a correlation. So let's do further studies to see if there is a correlation and what we can do. But for now, way too premature to tell people to stop taking their prenatal vitamins. All right. Good information as always. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.